There are 10,300 individuals in Georgia who moved more than 30 days before the November election to a different county in Georgia, but failed to re-register and vote in their current county of residence. That means their votes don't count. Now, remember, as long as they didn't go to the new county and vote again, which there's no evidence of, it doesn't change the results. Oh, that's a little bit of a problem. There are 18,325 individuals in Georgia who voted whose addresses are recorded on the U.S. Postal Service as vacant. They're vacant. It's that- extraordinarily common that the Postal Service's records are simply not right. I've dealt with that issue myself. Not proof of any fraud. Exclusively for Joe Biden. Ballot images obtained through a public records request revealed duplicated votes, which included at least 3,000 390 extra votes for Joe Biden. In Fulton County, one- Is everything, is something weird going on? Did someone faint? Because something very strange is happening here. Do you guys see what's going on in the background? Georgia officials also took $45 million from Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg to fund election-related activities. Well, they should be looking at that. What, what is that all about? Over 90% of this funding... They seem to be fanning someone who maybe has collapsed. Trump seems oblivious to it. ...at areas of the state and used to boost Democrat voter turnout. What's that all about? You know, they have a limit of like $5,200. He's given millions and millions of dollars to... I don't different- know, guys. Maybe this rally was a bad idea. That's for the famous drop boxes that you hear about where a vast percentage of the votes in the unlocked and unguarded boxes were for Biden. They were for Biden, even though we know who most of them were for. According to True the Vote, great group, at least 7% of the drop box Is the vote woman was back illegally up? trafficked. I feel like this woman That's was 92, down. 92,000 votes. Oh, she's got water. The metropolitan area alone. That's 92,000. Remember, we're talking about little more than 11,000, no, 92,000. That's one of many categories. In addition... That in, woman's complexion seems problematic. She seems like she could have just fainted. I, I can't tell. Alleges a gigantic illegal ballot harvesting operation involving large numbers it's of people... It's this woman right here? Is that what people are saying? State. With all of these discrepancies and criminal acts, Governor Kemp and Raffensperger and your attorney general, who unfortunately has not decided to get involved, other than looking at people that are questioning the votes, aren't interested in the people that committed the voter fraud. They're only interested in me and others because I bring voter fraud to the forefront in order to save our nation from corrupt elections and to make sure that this never ever happens again. Never happens again. Even the Fulton County DA, district attorney, is after me. But no one is willing to give us the information we want in Fulton County. And, you know, Fulton County has a terrible reputation for voter corruption, probably among the worst in the country. They say I'm being aggressive, but you have to be aggressive to weed out this horrible... The optics of the fact that Trump is totally oblivious to it somehow makes it even more depraved. They're not after me. They're after you. I just happen to be in the way. That's what's really happening. Yesterday, we okay, also they're helping got the, woman the results out, I guess. of the Arizona audit, which, which were so disgracefully reported by those people right back there. And the headline... Off she goes. Claiming that Biden won. 